realize that it's not it's all cracked up. It's all it's it's not all that it's cracked up to be. And so I need money. And somebody comes to me and says, "Here, I can help you with your situation." And so you decide that you want to, you know, take the carrot. And and they they make promises and they lie to you. We know that, and we know that you know it has to feel really bad. So you you know just come back home and. Take responsibility first and foremost for the things that have taken place. You have to look at yourself and really ask yourself, look deep inside of yourself and ask yourself why if you didn't have somebody whispering in your ear. Thank you for that. Um, the Sister Fatima uh, brings up a particular, I guess, catch word that you hear a lot in the case that people were groomed. Now, what how would you describe, or anyone on the panel, your experience with grooming? Because they're making it seem as if people were brainwashed or um, groomed to do negative things. But in our experience as a community, the grooming was not that. So could you all delve and, into that? Well, I, I'll start off by saying that uh, grooming, and I'll take it from the very beginning, if, if, if you guys don't mind. I mean, from the point of, you know, being a toddler, you know, I was with my uncle many times and you know his, his whole thing was that you know there's a world out there where they are exploiting and i'm only speaking from the perspective of a woman or you know at that time of course a child but as a little girl you know there are certain things that you did not do okay which is why this is really amazing this whole this is crazy to me because as a little girl he always said you don't you don't do this. You don't play around with all these little boys. You don't. You're not really touchy feely. You don't. You, you know. You don't play with the boys. You se we were separated from them. And let me make this clear: we were not separated, fathers and fathers, because there was some big conspiracy to do something to us. Okay, that was not at all the situation. A lot of us were, you know, little kids, and our parents were coming in with us, and they had a lot of bad habits. And they were they came in to cleanse, and so we were separated from them so that we would not pick up their bad habits. Okay, we weren't separated. We weren't separated because we, you know, my uncle had a plan for the children. I mean, that's it's, that's just ludicrous. And you know what? I want to take it a step further to say that with that whole grooming thing it, it really is something that is missing in today's society we should be groomed we should be groomed to love our families respect ourselves i mean let's let's face it let's just turn on the television and tell about selling sex exploiting black women exploiting black women exploiting black women they don't sell anything without exploiting us they don't sell lipstick without a black woman Okay, they don't sell a pair of shoes without a black woman. So it's about exploitation. That's what it was about. They, they wanted to exploit us, and what he taught us was not to be exploited, to know who you are, know your ancestry, know where you came from, know where you're going. Don't do this. You don't want to be that, because when you, if you take that path, this is the outcome of that path. So we were separated from our parents who had actually things, ever happened to me. It's the best one to go on record as saying, just for the record, I wasn't there on May 8th. I wasn't there for years before May 8th. Why am I here now? Right knowledge. Because after all these years, that's why I'm saying you can come back. Because after all these years of being out there experiencing, I, trust me, I've been out there. I've worked in the music business. I've been at the highest mountain and the valley low, and you know what? It's in the day if you don't have. And that's for us to know who we are. He groomed us to be wives and fathers, and, and I mean, in the proper perspective, okay? How to care for your children? How to care for your father who may, you know, who may come into your home if, he, if he's an elder? How to care for your husband? How to, these are the things that we were taught. And it didn't have anything to do with anything disgusting. It had everything to do with purity. You 
you know, you don't get, you don't just go around doing sleep, and, you know, and I knew when, when I heard about things, I knew that most of the people that actually did this, I knew in the back of my mind, I said, you know, they just really wanted to be out there experiencing things, and they probably didn't realize it was going to get this big. They didn't know, because I'm sure that most of them were groomed to be a certain way, too, and it didn't have anything to, with, it, again, it didn't have anything to do with anything sexual. It had everything to do with how to carry yourself, how to be the best you could be. That was what grooming was for us. We weren't groomed, and, like ripened on a tree and then picked one day, and here you go. It wasn't like that. You know, it, it wasn't. It just wasn't that way. So that is is my that was my experience, and I've I've been around my uncle for years, and and you know just being around him and being with him, and being almost under him all the time. To, if he were going around doing things to people, trust me, I would have been first to go. I would have been first to go because I would follow the man around and literally bug him. So, you know, they say that when you're dealing with people that are pedophiles and things like that, they don't discriminate. If you know anything about that, that particular personality or profile of a pedophile, they don't discriminate. It doesn't matter if you're related or not related or whatever. They don't, they don't discriminate. If you're there, you get it. I was there. I didn't get it. There was nothing going on. There was nothing going on. This is all about somebody's somebody else's stuff that he it's, it's really unfortunate that he's suffering as a result of our own stuff and we really really need to look at again look at ourselves get a handle on that okay if uh, let's say I'm at home and I'm one of the people that you're talking about and maybe sister Hager if you could take this um, that is hearing Come home, come home. What do I do? Give us a call. <laughs> I'm serious. Get in touch with someone. Get in touch with us. You know, email. We've got tons of email addresses out there. We've got MySpace. I mean, they know. I mean, the reality is that everybody has a MySpace. Unfortunately, we're in the age of, of what, technology and advancement. I mean, Everybody has an email address. Everybody has a MySpace. I mean, it's just as simple as saying, you know what, y'all, I made a mistake, and I want to set this right because we don't want Pops to die in there. We don't want him to die for something he didn't do. It's just that simple, you know? And, I mean, in the case of, say, somebody like Habiba Washington, she's tried to come forth and do what she can as far as putting out the videotape, which was a surprise to all of us. I mean, like, we, this videotape popped up, and it's like, wow, she's trying to recant. Obviously, she didn't know where to go with it, but she took it upon herself to do it, and, I mean, that was a blessing. We need more of that. You know, we need more of that. You know, you got something to say, hey, put it on a tape. <laughs> put it on the Internet, whatever. You know, set the record straight. That's the bottom line. Sister Fair, did you want to add something to that? And, and well, then we'll get you, buddy. Um, part of add, adding on to how to come back, what people don't realize is the basis of everyone who testified against Malakaz York is a family. They're all family. They brought other people in as a part of the indictment, but everyone who ended up testifying at court was all related. It was a it was a family affair, and so there are family members who are still part of the nation, who they can very well.